keywords are very important and we drive them from our uh, research question. This is very important. And then we, we work on this. So this is what we need to do before we start working with any database. So please make sure while you are listening to this lecture in your mind, you should working with your keywords, okay? I want you to write your keywords in the comment box of uh, this session, okay? It's not uh, next session. So uh, please make sure while we are uh, working, you just follow my instruction and work this in the same way for your research question because I, I took one research question as a sample and I, I used that research question to collect some keywords and then we'll go with some databases, how we can extract the records. Okay, so let's move on. Now, keywords are important and they are basically derived from research questions. So the primary unit of your literature review or systematic literature review is your research question, which provides you aims and which provides you keywords as well. And then from these keywords, the rest of the work is being done. So mean that the research question is the most crucial part. If you determine the research question in the right manner, it means that you are able to drive right keywords and then right search. So it will save a lot of your time if you do this uh, right in the first instance. Otherwise you have to go back to first step after doing all uh, the analysis and then you need to go back to the first stage. Okay, let's, let's think about this research question. My question is, is there any impact of blockchain technologies on agri-food supply chain? This is something I'm working on. So that's why I consider this uh, to be part of this uh, systematic literature review and uh, masterclass. And then we can develop uh, some research article from that. Similar way, what research question you are uh, developing, please take that research question in, in the way we, we develop some output at the end of this course after this one month period you should be able to develop that uh, uh, research paper or uh, thesis or any research outcome okay so let's consider this the impact of blockchain technologies on agri-food supply chain now please make sure if you have any question uh, type that question in the chat box and I would uh, uh, take uh, these questions at the end of this session or at the end of this presentation before starting with the databases, okay? So if you have any question, go ahead and type your question. We'll, we'll discuss these points, okay? Now, uh, let's talk about the impact of blockchain technologies on agri-food supply chain, okay? So is there any impact or what is the impact and how blockchain technologies are impacting on agri-food supply chain? All the uh, research questions uh, can be formulated from this phrase, okay? Now, the important thing here is I'm talking about the key terms, and you can see that the key terms are very simple. Here, I have blockchain technologies, then I have agri-food supply chain, right? So I believe everybody agree on this point. So these, these are the key terms I'm using in this uh, research question. In the same way, you should have your own keywords in your uh, research question, okay? So these keywords are standardized keywords. Remember, I'm using this word and I used this word last time and I used this word in my presentation as well. Standardized keyword, okay? Because if the keyword is not standardized, it means that you will end up with nothing. And what is keyword standardization? Uh, I will explain this while I'm, I'm working with the uh, Google Scholar and how we can assess that our keywords are standardized or not, okay? So mark this word, the keyword should be standardized, mean that it should be widely accepted in your literature, okay? So you should not be developing your own term and that, that is not available in the literature, but the concept is already there with the different names. So try to search the relevant keyword and standardized keyword. So we'll, we'll discuss this point later on. Okay, now we have blockchain technologies, agri-food supply chain. These are two or three or four keywords, right? So I can consider them the four keywords. The first one is the blockchain. 
Second one, maybe technology or technologies. We can see which, which one is standardized. We'll use that. Okay. And then agri-food and then supply chain. All right. I believe everybody is, is uh, agreed on these points. So blockchain, then the technologies, agri-food and supply chain. But we can redraft this into two. Blockchain technologies or blockchain technology. And then we can have agri-food supply chain. What you think? This is also keyword, right? So if you look at this blockchain technologies, agri-food and supply chain, all these are keyword. I, I don't think so. Uh, there is any um, disagreement between these, these concepts. Their concepts are there and they can be uh, used as the keywords. But my search would more likely like this, blockchain technologies in the agri-food supply chain. Now, agri-food supply chain is another keyword or key term. Now, uh, this is important. Sometime the literature may be talking about agri-food logistics or many other synonyms would be there. So we need to be careful about that. Uh, I will come back to that point. But from that four keywords, I prepared two key terms and two, uh, two keywords, okay? So these four are also part of my search and these two would be my major concern, okay? So if I don't find anything with these two key terms, then I will go back to breaking them down and uh, getting uh, more and more literature and investigating more uh, articles, okay? So this is how it works. But Similarly, we can do another thing. We can do blockchain technologies and supply chain. And the implementation should be in agri-food because this is a business type. So that can be as your inclusion and exclusion criteria. So when you search all the article, you extracted the database. And in that database, you can just mention that, okay, uh, I'm looking at the uh, blockchain technology and the supply chain, but I will take only the article which is referring to the agri-food or related business. It is also possible, right? So these all are possibilities uh, which allow us to search the literature in the relevant way. Now, what mistakes many people are doing, they are just looking at one strategy. Once they identify the keyword, they will just go to quickly going to the database and search everything and, and extract and record. You will not get the right or the relevant literature. There, it will be very challenging for you to extract the relevant record based on all these terms. So you have to strategize. So what my strategies are, I will go through two major strategies. One would be blockchain technologies and agri-food supply chain. And the second one, I will take the article which are talking about supply chain, blockchain technology, but agri-food, I will not include in the search. I will make it as an inclusion and exclusion criteria. If I received very a few articles with this approach, okay, with this approach one, this is how we apply Goldilocks thesis. If I apply this one and I receive only five or 10 articles, then I will go to strategy two. Here I can find more articles and then I can refine them based on the area of research, okay? So there are many, many other uh, um, inclusion and exclusion criteria are available which we can apply directly on the website or the databases, okay? So now these are different strategies where we can work with the keywords which are very important part of our uh, search strategy.